Embedded Vision Alliance and Kronos uh, very much, I think, share uh, the same vision for uh, making computer vision and machine learning software development, efficient software development on specialized processors that are cost efficient and energy efficient, making that accessible to hundreds of thousands of developers who don't have and probably don't want detailed knowledge of the architectures and the software tools and so on. Kronos has been really active in the last few years, developing a number of standards, uh, some of which are already deployed, some of which are, will, as you'll hear from, from Neil, soon to be deployed, others of which are in the kind of formative stages. And so I'm really pleased that Neil Trevitt, who's president of Kronos, has come to share an update on the Kronos software standards, uh, current and future, related to computer vision and AI. Neil, thanks very much for being here. Great. Thank you, Jeff. It's uh, an honor to be here. Um, I have a gravelly voice from a, I'm recovering from a cold, so I might need to use this. If I need to repeat anything, just, just shout. So um, as Jeff says, we're going to be giving you, in the next 30 minutes, an update on vision standards that are being developed at Kronos for embedded vision and uh, inferencing. Uh, if you haven't come across Kronos before, we're an open standards consortium, about 140 companies right now, everyone from Google and Apple all the way down to small one-person startup companies. We really welcome participation because this is the place, Kronos is the place where the industry can come to work together with 140 of your you know, closest competitors to create open standards that are good for your company and good for the industry. So we tend to focus on, um, I mean, every standards organization has an area of focus. Kronos's area of focus is connecting the software to silicon. So we have a, a bunch of IHVs creating awesome silicon processors. Uh, we need to enable the developer community to reach into that acceleration uh, to deliver awesome end user experiences. So we have about 15 active uh, standards right now. Um, we have some of the 3D ones, Vulkan and OpenGL. We have AR and VR ones. That's uh, the new standards not released yet, OpenXR. We have some 3D file formats. But what we're going to be talking about today is the set of standards that are related to vision and inferencing acceleration. And, and there's a little handful of them there. And um, it can be a little complex how they kind of interreact and uh, when would you use one over the other. So I'm going to try and uh, give some clarity 